Hey, it's Ron. Uh, today we're going to do a little quick tutorial, I guess you can call it, of installing a LG, a anything from a 775 all the way up to a, well, any of the later Intel, <laughs> 2011, 1151, because yeah, they're pretty much all the same. They haven't really changed the way they see them in since then. What I've got here today is the, the 20th anniversary uh, G3258 Pentium. It's uh, fully unlocked. First thing you want to do is get your nice little CPU here. What you want to do is pull this all the way back, leave the little black plastic cover on, I always do. But there's you know a couple of identifiers if you've never put a computer together before uh, or put a CPU in. You got the uh, the gold square. Can I focus in? There you go. The gold square there in the corner, and also these two notches here. That one there, and then this one up here. Those will actually identify on the motherboard. Get a little closer here. You can see it. <clears throat> All right, now basically, like I said, there I usually go by the notches. I mean, there's the, the corner right there, the, the little gold lines up. I said it only go in one way. These two notches here will actually line up with that, and I just take it this way here and slide it in, give it a little wiggle just to make sure. And now you can see that it's you know locked in those two notches there. And I'll just fold this down, and then as soon as you press it in, you'll hear a little pop. The little black bracket will come off. It wasn't a very loud pop, but it was a pop. And then you just take that off, throw it aside. And next, I'm actually going to be using a stock heat sink on this one. Uh, it does come pre applied off to the side a little bit. I don't know why they didn't center it on this one. Uh, but. <clears throat> Who knows why they do what they do? I sure don't. Alright. And on this one, I'm not going to be able to put it where the Intel is facing up and down, but I'll put it this way here. And basically, you just do corner, corner, you'll hear the little clicks, and then the corner. And and you can just route, you'll see it labeled on the motherboard CPU fan. Uh, some of them may have CPU multiple ones, like this one is CPU fan 1, this one is CPU fan 2. Just because this is the uh, the gaming edition motherboard, so it supports, uh, you know, if you have dual fans on your heatsink, like some of the, like the Cooler Master Evo, the 212 Evo, or something even fancier than that. Water cooling, you know, you can put multiple fans in there instead of having... You know, just power straight off that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on that. I am also going to install the RAM on here. I don't know if it'll be up before this video or after, but my Dominator GT I just did a kind of unpackaging of, and it's the Airflow series because it does come with the mounting fan. Yeah, basically, it tells you actually on the motherboard here. Let me zoom in on that. So yeah, it says first, it says DIMM 2 and 4 first, which is this one and this one. So basically on all RAM from DDR, or actually PC-133 and up, or PC-100, we'll just line the sides and then press, you'll hear two clicks. Unless your motherboard is a, a gaming board like an Asus, some of theirs only have the one side, so this is just flat where this is the clip. But if that's the case, you'll you'll see that. All right, let me get the second stick here. It'll come. 
come for me. Oh. <clears throat> All right, you second, and actually, I didn't say this before because it's kind of used to it, but uh, that notch there, we're actually lining it up with the little notch on the motherboard. This one's right here. Slide it in and down. There you go. And since this is the Airflow series, like I said, it actually has a uh, fan that actually clips on. So I'll go and try to do that now. Let me know how well this will work. That's that, and I'm actually going to plug this one into CPU Fan 2 header, just because I can. And let me get you a sunken down view. Let me adjust the trap out here. You can see. I mean, that is pretty much as simple as you can make it on a lot of the... Yep, that's right on top of the... Right above the heat sinks there as you can see. Uh, granted, you know, not all all RAM requires this type of a fan. Most of them don't actually require that. Uh, like I said, I'll be using the stock stock heat sink fan. Uh, if I need to, I will upgrade. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be a an arcade box setup. I have an overkill on the motherboard, but I got it at a pretty good price, so that's the uh, the reasoning for that board. And the unlocked CPU is the reason for the unlocked CPU, it says itself. Uh, Alright, hope this was informative. Have a good one.